Breakfast Club, bitches. You're a donkey. <laughs> donkey of the day for Thursday, November 1st, goes to a nurse at St. Luke's Hospital in Missouri. Uh, na her name is Shelby Heenan. Now, listen, I really can't stand to see grown people making rookie mistakes. It's a couple of issues that I'm just not debating anymore. Okay, the why white people can't say the N-word combo, uh, even if it's in a rap song, is one of them. And the other usually happens around this time of year, and it's the why can't white people wear blackface combo. Uh, yesterday was Halloween, and listen, man, here's the thing. Everybody has the freedom to do what it is that uh, they want to do. You can say what you want. You can do what you want, but you are not free from the consequences of those words and actions, okay? Everything has a cost. And if you're not willing to pay the price, then don't do or say whatever it is you want. Now, Shelby Heenan is a white woman. Uh, I don't know if they don't have Wi-Fi in this particular town in Missouri or if she doesn't watch TV or maybe she's in her own little echo chamber where it's just her and her white friends discussing why they should be able to wear blackface. Well, Shelby is also the latest in a long line of Caucasians who have had to learn the harder way about wearing blackface. Let's go to KCTV CBS 5 for the report, please. Tonight, a nurse here at St. Luke's East in Lee Summit is out of a job after posting a photo of herself to social media. This is the post from Shelby Heenan's now deactivated Facebook page where she and another are seen in blackface. Heenan captioning the photo, Jay-Z and Beyonce. It was just last mm -hmm. week, Megyn Kelly was fired from NBC after saying mm -hmm. she didn't understand why dressing in blackface was so offensive that it didn't bother anyone back when she was a kid. Now, St. Luke's Hospital says it learned about that social media post yesterday and by lunchtime today, Heenan was no longer an employee here. Shelby, 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 why? Mm -mm. Megyn Kelly just died on that cross last week. Do you not pay attention to the signs in your life? Did you not see the backlash to Megyn Kelly when she asked that question last week? Shelby, smart people learn from their own mistakes. Wise people learn from the mistakes of others. If Megyn Kelly got fired because she simply pondered the question, why can't white people wear blackface? Then what do you think would happen to a white person who actually said F it, threw mayonnaise to the wind, and wore blackface? Play Megyn Kelly from last week because y'all must have forgotten. What is racist? Because because so truly, you do get in trouble if you are a white person who puts on yes, black face yes. on Halloween or a black person who puts on white face yes. for Halloween. Like, I, ba okay, back when I was a kid, that was okay as long as you were dressing up as like a character. I, there was a controversy on The Real Housewives of New York with Luann as she dresses Diana Ross and she made her skin look darker than it really is. And people said that that was racist. And I don't know, I thought like, who doesn't love Diana Ross? She wants to look like Diana Ross for one day. I, I don't know how like that got racist on Halloween. I See, when Megyn <laughs> Kelly says things like she doesn't know why white people can't wear blackface, it was okay when she was a kid, that's because it was probably okay because she clearly was around nothing but white people growing up. And there was no black people around or white people who truly know history to tell you why that's not okay. And the white people who do know the history of blackface, they probably agree with it, so they don't give a damn. So listen, for the billionth time, here is Dr. Matthew Osborne, Associate Professor of History at the University of Missouri, Kansas City. This man is in your state, Shelby. He knows the history of blackface. Let's hear it. It was meant to denigrate uh, and lampoon uh, African-American people, often in settings that were meant to show black people in a position of servitude. <clears throat> Why are you all willing to ruin your lives for blackface? Uh, I understand why you would want this melanin. It is indeed a privilege to be black, so I understand why you want to be us for Halloween. But if someone is telling you something is offensive and you see other people getting fired for simply asking why they don't understand why white people can't do it, then what would make you think you can get away with it? <clears throat> is your privilege or sense of entitlement set up different than any other white person who has experienced the fate of blackface? The caucasity of privilege will never cease to amaze me. Now Shelby is unemployed, and I pray that the bronze that she used is almost impossible to wipe off because I would love for her to experience how hard it is to get a job with black skin. Kathy Griffin, do the honors. Please give this giant jar of mail the biggest hee-haw. <coughs> Also a tough way to learn that you are indeed not Beyonce. Too much goddamn mayonnaise. Charlemagne the God here, and today's Donkey of the Day is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamonsoff. Don't be a donkey and call my friend Michael if you've been hurt in a construction accident. 212-962-1020. That's 212-962-1020. Don't be a donkey 